Savage Joe. Big trap, big opening. And my plan is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and breach the dam, make the water flow, and then what ends up happening is the beavers they want to uh, make the water stop flowing because they want to hang on to their water, which is their lifeline. Water is. Uh, their main survival tool that they use, they use it for uh, they use it for getting away from predators, and they also use it to uh, drag their their trees. And uh, this particular trap, I just take and I set it up without a stabilizer, and uh, yeah, we'll head on over the den there. I'll show you how how it's done. Yeah. 
So what we end up with here is uh, my son Barrett. He's out here helping us trap. So this is what the finished set looks like. <clears throat> So the beaver ends up coming to swim and he's going to come and he's going to want to fix that. And I've just kind of partitioned off uh, a little set. Nothing too crazy. You don't want to give him too much. Pain doesn't matter. We got no scent there. And... Uh, the water level is going to drop a little bit and they had the water level right up to the top and this little bit of drainage here is going to drop that down about probably four or five six inches Let's see if that little reed finds its way through there don't want the trap to get triggered and yeah tomorrow we'll come for a check all right barrett away we go Obviously, these types of little trees here, these poplars, are absolutely ideal for the beaver. And what ends up happening is when you leave these beavers unchecked, by the time fall rolls around, they could have mowed down a whole series of trees all along here. And the problem with the beaver is they just don't know how to stop. So. We will be putting a stop to these guys' action here right quick. We'll come and check her out tomorrow. Well, the trap is snapped and pulled into the water. Oh, today we got a beaver. All right. There he is right there. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pan back and just step back over there in the dam and then I'll get them out. Kind of interesting because it's a bit of a this dam here. You can see this was the mouth of the dam here before, and there's so much mud that's shallow here, which doesn't bode very well for foothold trapping because what you want is you want water depth to toss your weight in with your cable and I'll show my I'll show my foothold drowning set which is what I was going to set today if we didn't have beaver but because we have a beaver here I'm going to take and stay with the body gripping trap and uh, I might even have to take and move location we'll see head anyway. He looks like a big boy. Oh yeah. Look at that tail size there. That is a big old warrior right there. Big set of casters right in there. That may be a male. That's beavers hurting beavers right there. Alright. Oh that's good. We're on to them now. Yeah, I might have to change location here because they're building this dam out so far. In fact, I might go and breach it over there. We'll see how this works. Safety's Yeah. 
big old beaver right there. Wow. Big. Man, I'd really like to get him washed a little bit. Yeah, that's big. I'll maybe take him into the shallow over there. See if I can wash him up. So, let me see. Out here, Barrett, I'll try and take it. See if we can clean this up a little bit. He'll be, he'll be all 50. He's not 50, but he's all 50. It's a big beaver. Yeah, I'll just show this foothold trap. I may not end up using it, but we'll see. So what happens with the foothold trap is I'll take, I'll run a cable through here. And so the cable runs through this way and then I set it and throw, it's attached to a weight and I'll throw it, toss that weight in the water and then I'll string that cable tight and the other end coming through that little hole, I'll take and tie that off behind the dam on the bottom side of the dam. And then what happens is the beaver gets his foot in there and they immediately dive into the water. So this thing can take and slide down the cable when he drags it in but when he gets down to the bottom of the weight and he tries to come back up, he can't because this twists sideways and twists the cable. And uh, these are TS-85 specifically for beaver. You can buy this same trap for wolves. Just now for wolves and coyotes, for canines, they make them with an offset jaw so it has a slight opening in the jaw so that it doesn't break their leg. But in this case for beaver, we're not concerned about that because uh, the animal is virtually rendered dead uh, just in the amount of time that it takes for them to expire. You see how that, did you zoom right in there, Barry? So I'm compressing the springs down here and then on the trigger right there, there's, here's the little dog that catches, and it catches that trap. Spring there, all the tension is on there. 
now that trap is set. And so I just placed that just inside the water. So if, if the dam was here and the high water was that way, I would breach the dam the same way and just take that trap just inside the water and lower it down into the water. And then the beaver comes along. And the beaver, when he comes along, he's actually swimming in the water where the trap will be set and his front feet come along and uh, takes and hits it. Just like that. And you can see the amount of damage that that thing does which is which is why they make you use offsets for uh for canines so yeah that's the ts80 ts85 beaver foothold trap so we haven't had to resort to that yet because this big boy here that can finally started listening to our conner bear so all right, away we go, Barrett. Well, that's not a good sign. They packed it right in front. Okay. Well, one more try, and then the foothold comes out. Yep, empty trap again. So we're going to take and we're going to set up a foothold. I'll clean this up and get prepped. Test that water for some depth right there. And uh, we'll video a, a foothold set. Yeah, so here's the assembly. <clears throat> so that trap and chain can slide down the length of that cable all the way down to the weight. It's going to be tossed into the water. And that is going to keep the beaver down in the water and he'll drown. So had to resort to this. He just got wise to our condor bears, our body gripping traps. So the next phase has begun. Yeah, I just took and tossed that weight down in there. And here's the trap. So now I'm going to place that trap just right in that opening there. And I'll put sticks on this side here too and I'll show you that finished product. And we'll just open up that trap jaw and just place it in there. And then when he comes swimming up, that'll produce us a beaver. All right. Here and I, we just took and rigged up two different sets here now for this beaver. And uh, kind of barricaded it off a little bit between these trees. Got lure right down there. And we've got a little camera there. So we're hoping to uh, get a little bit of video footage here. But this poor beaver here, we already, he's already gotten hit with the conner bear on the dam. And he's set the foothold off on the dam, carrying debris into the traps, accidental trips, but inadvertently they become educated and uh very disappointed at the other lure set that i made that he triggered the trap there so i don't know sometimes that's just how it goes but we're pulling out all the stops here now we'll see this is the first set that he comes to when he's swimming up the waterway here so we'll see what he figures Barrett. well i just got to my set here and I see the camera was operating and I see that the trap is gone so very very interested to see what our possibility here is and Very, very excited. Please, please, please. Show me success. Try to do this with one hand here. Oh, man, I'm gonna just have to put this camera down a bit. 
Let's see if I can prop it up here somehow. It took me so long, but we have success. All right. Oh my goodness! There's a beaver. Right there. Finally, that's a big adult. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Man, I had to work a long time for that beaver. <laughs> Unfortunately, what happened was he just, he just got educated. The trap got tripped so many times and, oh, jeepers. Here's the dam right over there. Whew, okay. Beautiful catch. It's exactly how you want him. Just like that, he, Got his front foot in the foothold, drag it down perfectly right to the bottom of the weight. And, uh, and the beaver looks nice. Can't skin him, but it's a nice, big, healthy beaver. That is uh, every bit of an adult beaver right there. Okay, well. I'm pretty sure that concludes what we've got going on here. So I'll talk to the, to the gentleman here looking after it and uh, they can open up that dam and very curious to see how the camera made out. Hopefully we got some decent footage of the catch and we'll go from there. Took me a lot longer than I wanted, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Little rain's coming down. All right. That right there is a big beaver. Big beaver. And I had another trap right in here. And I see. Yep, there's another beaver right there. Cool. Two beaver first day here, Marlon, for you. We're getting them. Somebody came and closed it though, so we need him too. Well, I have never caught two beaver. I've got three traps right here. They're flooding this road here big time. Barrett and I, we just popped in here. I just pulled one beaver out there. He was laying right here. These are two serious, serious adults. And if you look at these two tails, holy, look at this. Look at these two tails. Like, that is a size 10. Holy mammoth. I don't know about the body weight. I don't know if they hit 60. But I'm going to take these two home and weigh them. I don't know, Barry. Those are some behemoths right there. That right there is easily, easily the two biggest beaver that I've caught side by side. Well, that was a good catch. Okay, Barrett, well, let's go and reset this trap here real quick. 
You can keep that thing rolling if you want. That's what I'm doing. Good cameraman. Uh, water level has dropped a little bit. And uh, we'll try not to change too much because uh, obviously what we had going on here had pretty deadly desired effect. Just like so. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do too much too different here. A couple more little sticks. Right back to the way we had it. You see how I take and set that trap, that stick, right in, in the open part of the trap? You see what I'm saying? You see what I mean? Like this is the part that'll spring free that way. So you can take and lean it in through there and help stabilize that trap. You know what I mean, Bert? Yep. Just pulling this beaver out of the trap here. Perfect strike. Perfect strike on this place here. Pretty big pond right here. Lodge nestled over in the trees over there. But uh, yeah, nice catch. Beaver. Not very big for the size of that tail, that's for sure. That's a big tail right there. Alright, I would imagine the action will start tailing off here pretty quick. Just like that.